Hi, uh, my name is Hiral Bhat. Hello, my name is Sarvesh Pandey. So we are from uh, Baroda and what Baroda Gujarat and um, I knew about um, Sanctum actually during my first pregnancy. Uh, my first baby was Breach and it was during covid times 2019 2020 uh so after i uh, you know uh, in the last trimester and uh, the baby did not turn uh and i was really hoping and looking forward to a normal delivery i started searching for options that uh, so i first i looked for options at at that time we were in ahmedabad so i started looking for options in ahmedabad okay which is a doctor who does normal delivery let me consult so i also, i i took few opinions um and uh, but no one uh, said that uh, in fact one doctor uh, uh, i remember that she uh, she um, assessed my um, uh, vagina uh, and uterus and then she say, she said that uh, your shape of the uterus is such that you'll never be able to give a normal birth that's what she said uh, so no no help um in the first uh, i didn't experience it much because we just entered <coughs> like 6:30 in the morning and 7:30 i had my daughter like i was not even allowed inside and everything i was just in the waiting room waiting for her and uh, and even the nurse broke the news that it's it's a girl and I, and to be honest like i was i really wanted a daughter and it was and i'm it was so difficult for me that i had to sort of self talk myself that if it it's a boy then service you have to be okay with that i was so much i wanted that uh, my first one to be a daughter you know and the no the nurse over there broke the news very casually she threw it very casually and to be honest i didn't experience much uh, when i came to know that it's cheese breach and the doctors told me that you know we only have to do c section so that's when i started searching online that if you know there is an option where Uh, i can still have a normal birth that's when i started searching online and through instagram i got to know about uh, sanctum uh, and then i was following sanctum uh, i also um, you know um, saw some of the reels and uh, instagram page of sanctum and heard about vijaya ma'am uh, and then i contacted her at that time so i contacted vijaya ma'am and you know saw the possibility i mean discussed the possibility of how can we you know do something so she suggested some exercises to turn the baby and uh, that's how i got to know about sanctum but that because it was peak covid time we couldn't come and travel all the way to hyderabad uh, but from then 2019 2020 i know about sanctum i i knew that if we if we had a second child i'm going to only birth at sanctum uh, and then yes when we um, Uh, found out about our second pregnancy we were very sure that we only want to do it here so i already had first experience of c section and i knew what i didn't want so then there was no i mean there was no other uh, other thing i only wanted to uh, you know experience this natural birth and uh, that's why we you know once you have something in mind that okay this is what something i want then you make all the efforts to do it right So and then there is pain. See, there is pain in C-section. There is pain in normal delivery. I had seen the pain uh, of C-section, and I knew I don't want that. You know the how how women are not supported. How the industry by default treats women as uh, mothers as patients. All of that. So I knew that what I wanted, and that that's what has made us travel all all this far. so in c section one is i was never given an option okay like doctor didn't say that okay uh, you know we can try or anything like that one second what was disappointing for me was um, you know i had seen that in a video of vijay ma'am which said that it is good that if uh, uh, if we can wait right that for the right time because uh, the baby decides the time right who are we to decide the time Uh, so i i had spoken about this to my doctor during my first delivery that okay if we have to do c section okay i i don't have option but uh, let us wait let us wait for uh, you know maybe the contractions to begin or at least one more week i think i had it in my 37th week so i said let us wait for one more week or two weeks 
to help the baby grow right uh, optimal time to uh, help the baby grow uh, so the doctor <laughs> i still remember the reply and now i find it funny at that time was i was very disappointed and i was also very i don't know what's the right word to use but i was not happy with the answer uh, but he was like uh, you know if we if we don't decide uh, the time now uh, and we wait for the contraction then uh, there will be some problem because we'll have to do it in emergency but now if we are pre planning then i can do it at my time and my convenience uh, and so it will be done properly so i was surprised that i mean you as a gynec as a doctor are there to serve me or i am there to adjust to your schedule right babies don't come according to your schedule so that was very surprising to me uh, uh so that, these are the ba- fundamental two differences which i felt <coughs> apart from that i also felt that not all my questions were answered doctor didn't even entertain i i felt like a patient instead of a mother you know it's not a disease pregnancy is not a disease so i think overall industry needs to hope you have a different perspective to this i think her whole experience during her first pregnancy which she didn't enjoy that much and how much trouble some she went through all this coming flying over here thing was very small to be honest in front of that so she would did she was determined that you know there is like she said there is inconvenience in everything sorry so there is inconvenience in everything obviously but then it's nothing in front of the 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 outcome that we are looking for so it was it and the thing is ultimately it's the right thing to do right so we knew it's the right thing to do so we we chose he was determined we decided we have to go so we have to go i don't know seeing vijaya ma'am and talking with her she has a very powerful vibe right it felt i felt so connected that i knew i just wanted to come here there was no other thought yes we attended the lamas class um lamas class was very good um and uh, i was also doing all the prenatal yoga plus the walking which was suggested so 30 minutes every day walking the diet that was suggested i followed that diet also protein iron everything and to be honest it hit me actually how important and how good it is through the lamas class actually i started taking it more seriously and understood the gravity of it through lamas class when we then they started explaining how all this process happened what women goes through it and everything and how beautiful birthing is and also they explain what happens during a c section you know why it is not recommended as a natural or as a as a default practice and that's where you know i started really appreciating what the sanctum is doing and how important it is for a woman to do this right way after every hour visit with gynec the local gynec over there we used to have a session with dr vijaya at least through whatsapp or something so that uh, whatever she was recommending we are following on that also the good thing is before we came luckily we found another couple in baroda who had given a birth in sanctum so we got her their reference their number through dr vijaya madam we had word with them their experience and everything which also helped us a lot you know uh, in order to make this happen so we knew obviously we had to do it but it made it little bit better and easy in terms of uh, going about it oh <laughs> very intense uh yet very powerful when i remember that day i feel empowered you know versus what i had felt in c section <laughs> it was beautiful but it was totally worth it we knew it was totally the moment she was out the whole help we had throughout the labor and everything it was beautiful <laughs> labor started on 1st may around uh, 12:30 pm which is a labor day which is <laughs> which was very i mean which was uh, early labor and we were taught this in lamas classes of how to manage it so we were managing it at home they were like um, not really they were early labor so not very uh, very mild uh, the entire day went by in in like you know 
irregular contraction cycle but at night uh, i was not able to sleep of course because of the pain uh, so i was here in touch with kiran and um, there her support was very good so then she explained me that how can i manage that and try to sleep surprisingly i was able to sleep uh, through whatever she told me and uh, then the second day may second also uh, the contractions continued they didn't stop uh, but they started becoming more regular and um, by evening they started becoming more intense with uh, less duration between contractions and by night they became very intense um, almost 5 minute uh, i was getting 1 minute contraction uh, and it was very very intense so that's when um, Kiran asked that now you come to Sanctum around 11:30 p.m. at night. Uh, we reached here by 12 12:30. And I was hoping that I'll get some rest uh, after you know reaching here. But uh, once I reached here, they were like constantly on my toes. Kiran and there was one more nurse who was helping me through. So they started help. First, they did an uh, initial assessment, and I was 4.1 centimeter dilated when I came here, and 95 percent effaced. So then, you know, they uh, suggested some positions. They helped. In fact, not suggested. They were there with me, helping me do all those uh, positions. So we did some uh, position on the bed, and then some inversion. Uh, so managing three, four contractions in every position like that. and they were holding me through they were motivating me through all of those contractions which was amazing and then uh, the contractions started become i mean they were very intense but they were becoming intense i mean there's no uh, <laughs> there's no word beyond that the pain was unbearable but uh, they were helping me through and then i remember around uh, 3 3 am i went into the water tub um in the water tub also the contractions were just becoming intense i think every half a minute i was getting contractions very intense but uh, the water helped the warm water helped a lot um and uh, it was very calming at the same time it was very intense um i think the ambience of the room also helped and we had brought some candles and put some music so i don't know how that one and half hour in the tub went through so around 5 am i got out of the 5 5:30 am i got out of the tub and uh, at that time i was feeling severe urge to push i mean i couldn't even control with every contraction uh, and that's when i started we went into the bathroom um, we managed few contractions there kiran was with me and my husband was with me i i don't know how did i go through it uh, uh, but we managed few contractions there and then we did some squatting few contractions there and in squatting um, Kiran told me that I could see baby's hair. I couldn't believe. I mean, I don't know how did those hours pass, but it was around 7 a.m. in the morning, and Dr. Vijay, I mean Vijay, ma'am had come, and uh, uh, then she she told me that uh, you know, th- then Vijay, ma'am guided me through that. Okay, uh, now you try not to because I was tired. I was tired tired with all this. pain and contraction and i was like okay i want to just push and get the baby out but then vijay ma'am said that you know don't push very hard otherwise you will get a lot of tear so try to you know push a little through each contraction rather than just pushing through one so and her her voice was very soothing and guiding i i i cannot uh, everything else was like did not exist it was just her voice and my husband holding my hand that's it so i got into the tub uh, and then they showed me in the mirror the baby's head uh, that moment and i don't remember how did the baby came out next you know there was no pain there was nothing uh, and um, the baby just came out just slided smoothly out through it and then immediately um, she was on my chest uh, in fact we didn't even you know the that moment was so intense uh, uh, at the same time so calming that uh, and so emotional for us uh, that we didn't even uh, see what was the gender of the baby for the first 10 minutes <laughs> we were just you know uh, we were just happy crying relieved i was oh relieved and uh, there was so much of uh, 
हिंदी दे इज अ हिंदी वर्ड कॉल सुकून really started appreciating more my wife i would say seeing her going through this and everything and uh, uh, i think um, when i held my daughter and not just held actually when she she was coming out i never thought i would cry to be honest uh, though i am an emotional person uh, but at that i remember when she was in labor and we saw her uh, crown till then also i was very you know fine i was very composed i would say but the the moment she was out and uh, it was so beautiful that i that i couldn't control and it was very emotional for me and i think that that emotional came because we went through the, everything started coming back to me you know the whole the first daughter the whole thing we went through um, the the all the all the inconvenience and all the effort that we took um, you know while coming back while coming to hyderabad and sort of it just we shifted three homes no while we were uh, here so all this way it started coming back to me and it because it get, it really got me emotional it really got me worked up but then those all went away the moment i held her uh, and i really love the fact that dr vijay was dr vijay man was always there the pediatrician was asking let us cut the <coughs> cut the you know cord and she was like no you don't worry we want them to be alone for some time we can we can worry about cutting the uh, the cord later on and she asked pediatrician you please just check the initial do and i'll take over the over from there and she i really loved the fact that they left us alone you know me and my wife were alone with our daughter with our daughter and really we had some like private 15 20 minutes to talk where does where does you know you get this you, you do not get this yeah oh i cannot tell you yeah the bliss that was there oh the baby was on my chest for 10 minutes and i don't know what was happening around it was just like you know uh it was me my husband and the baby that's it that's what i felt uh, and uh, we were just there for 10 minutes just like that so much of uh i cannot i mean the experience was beyond this world beyond this world i can never forget and uh there was no hurry you know that okay now the baby has come out like in hospital that okay now we need to get the baby checked then get this placenta and then got the cord nothing that very thing was so peaceful and calm uh, that was amazing there was uh, there were two round of cord around the neck yeah around the neck and um, again that is a very wrong um, notion Yeah, that people say that there is a cord around. I mean, you uh, doctors um, fear. I mean, tell that tell the mothers that this is a risk. Cord around the neck is a risk. There was no, there is nothing like that. So there is two round of cord around the neck. There, she was um, Vijay Mamma removed it, and then it was all placenta was delivered, and then I I came out the out of the tub, and I was just lying. on my on, on the bed and the baby was on my chest and then i don't know what what was happening around i was just lying there for almost 30 minutes uh, me my husband and her there was no disturbance and there was nothing or uh, around 7:25 she was born 8:30 Uh, I got a second degree tear, so 8:30. Then Vijay, ma'am, you know, uh, did some stitches, and then uh, they helped with the first feeding, um, skin to skin, and then I had a bath. It was all very smooth, very subtle. You know, there was no rush, there was no hurry, there was no people rushing here and there. Very, very beautiful, very calming experience. the experience overall over coming over here the support always being there being available of dr vijaya madam or her her team has been tremendous the support has been tremendous i really appreciate throughout the labor i remember there was not a single time that we were left alone during our throughout the labor throughout the seven hours someone was there and i really love the fact that whenever my wife was uh you know giving up you know she was she kept on saying i can't do this i'm not able to do this i remember not a single time they tried to demean her you know how can you say this you are a mother you cannot say this they never tried to demean her 
it was always a positive you know version that no you are doing it you can do it you are already doing it you are already doing it and you will be able to do it they were always positive you know those positive affirmations were there uh, i know had it been some any other uh, you know typical hospital sort of setup and even if we were trying to do normal delivery i'm sure the doctor would have tried or the nurse would have tried to maybe demean her you know you should not say this a mother cannot say this something like that i'm very negative which was not in this case i really love that fact so initially me uh, my husband and my mother came uh, my mother was here for two weeks and uh, then my mother in law came so she is with us until now everyone thought i was crazy uh, and uh, they are like okay why do you want to travel so far uh, where will you manage to stay and uh, a few of them also thought whether you know a natural delivery is possible after c section or not so it was like that but i was determined so uh, then they were oh, they didn't say anything i'm sure they would have their doubts in their mind at that time but uh, they didn't say anything then they started supporting me but then they would um, you know once or twice they would tell me that you should do your uh, you know proper check whether the um, um, uh, whether the center is proper genuine or not you know it can be risky uh, things like that feel so much empowered i i don't know how did i get that power to you know really when i see at her now i feel that how did i push her you know how did i get her but then at that time all the support uh, of the women here that i got incredible i cannot describe it in words so and i feel so 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 empowered it it's an experience of lifetime Uh, so I wanted to experience this power. Uh, initially, also I thought that I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I wanted to give it a try. Uh, but somehow, in that moment, you you do find that strength, and you do find I don't know how does the universe and you know all the right people around you give you that. But that feeling is beyond words. You know, now now I feel that I can I can do anything. So that is beyond words. Yeah, and I think every every mother every woman should get this experience you know not not feel uh i don't know the right words for it but not feel um uh, limited in terms of options or not um, uh, guided correctly they should always be given the right options and then let them choose there is nothing wrong in c section also but then you should know that all the right options that okay these are, and then you should have a choice i would say it was very beautiful i think it was totally worth it i'm really glad and i'm really happy that my wife could find this place and we and she could sort of convince me in a way to come all this way um but yeah you know it was really beautiful a uh, lot of people had told us that um why you're going it's not why to take much so much of effort and money and everything time and effort and everything but to be honest it was totally worth it and it's been a beautiful journey for for me as well i could experience it being in the same room uh, and see my daughter you know getting uh, coming to this world it's been beautiful and very emotional to be honest for me everyone is of course very happy in friends and family um but um as i said few few of them had doubts that whether you know how is this uh, how is normal delivery possible after c section uh, they were surprised and happy um uh, and everyone is happy uh, a lot of people also didn't knew about water birth uh, and they got to know that something like this is there um and exists so yeah happy and surprised <laughs> i also remember few of our relative who not relative but friends who came in hyderabad they never knew about this place and they had two two uh, pregnancy and both of them were c section and they were quite surprised when they came and they saw the room set up because people are so used to the hospital beds and the hospital set up in fact they said it felt like they were entering in a preschool after seeing the whole setup post 
postpartum care here amazing amazing uh, i had a very difficult breastfeeding journey with my first child you know even after c section the, i still remember the nurses would come into the room uh, and then they would ask feeding is started i would say no they would go away that's it no one would help uh, and then uh, at the time of discharge when i told this to the doctor and i was already you know my breasts were engorged so when i uh, uh, told the doctor that the feeding is still not there and we were giving um, not even formula cow milk oh, that's what was suggested in the hospital so um, at the time of discharge when i asked this to the doctor he uh, prescribed me lactation tablets and i was already lactating i mean they didn't even uh, put the effort to look at it or understand what is the problem nothing uh and then i had to you know get in touch with a lactation counselor and all of that happened uh here uh, every i mean the lactation counselor was uh, here once she was born uh, the baby was latched in the first hour of birth uh, everyone helped and uh, the staff was so 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 supportive so it, here coming here didn't feel uh, like a hospital it felt like home uh, of course with the ambience the room and the support everything i think it 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 just feels like home here not uh, not like a typical hospital the community and the support that uh, is there and i think everyone should have access to this uh, it is sad that uh, someone has to travel so far to really experience this because ideally it should have been like this Uh, not otherwise i think we should have more places like sanctum uh, and more accessible to people right because everyone cannot travel but this is how birth should be uh, not the other way around uh, traveling so far for uh, something which is so natural um, uh, i think it's a question on the society <laughs> so if we have places like sanctum uh, more across the country uh, it it is it is i mean that is what is required so i think every step of uh, the every step of this journey was beautiful for me i really you know if obviously we do not plan to have another child but i know if we had if we had to we would have come sanctum this place only because i think the short answer is it's the right way there is there, there is nothing to add to this there is nothing to subtract to this it is the right way to do this and i think every woman should experience this the beauty and the sad part is that this happens only in sanctum i wish this was more accessible across this um the whole um to all women across the world i would say i'm sure the uh, outside india it is there but um, yeah it's it's been a very wonderful journey for me